Hello, I'm Bill Craighead, director of the UCCS Economic Forum. This week, we got some mixed signals on the local economy. The employment picture still looks healthy, but sales tax collections came in a little weak. The state released estimates of employment for counties and metro areas in Colorado. The unemployment rate in the Colorado Springs metro area, which is El Paso and Teller counties, rose from 3.5% in June to 3.7% in July. That sounds bad, but if we look at why it increased, we can see it is, wasn't actually bad news. The number of people who said they were employed actually went up. However, the number of people looking for a job went up by even more. To be counted as unemployed, you have to be looking for a job. So that increase isn't due to fewer people working, it's because there are more job seekers. The statewide data showed a similar pattern. The pace of employment growth here was pretty strong, similar to numbers we saw last year, though a bit cooler than the extremely rapid pace in the first half of this year. One thing to keep in mind with employment data is that there are seasonal patterns. The strongest seasonal pattern is that unemployment always jumps in January, after the holiday shopping season ends. There's also typically a smaller increase in unemployment in the summer, with people who are off from school or school-related jobs seeking employment. The national and state-level data are typically reported on a seasonally adjusted basis to remove these patterns, but there isn't a seasonal adjustment in the state's release of metro and county-level data. Another thing to note is that the unemployment rate is based on surveys of households. The government also surveys firms about their payrolls. Without the seasonal adjustment, payrolls dipped for Colorado in July and were basically flat on a seasonally adjusted basis. Though the business and household surveys generally show similar trends, they don't always match up from month to month. This release did not include metro or county payroll data, just statewide. City sales tax collections were behind last year's pace in July. As you can see, this is another data series with a strong seasonal pattern. While collections were up from June to July, the source of concern would be that 20, July 2023 collections were a little below July 2022. Collections at grocery stores and restaurants are well ahead of last year, but building materials are off from last year. This may partly be the effect of higher interest rates on home improvement projects. Also, it's worth noting that the collections reflect sales from the previous month, so July's collections were for June, which I'll remember was extremely rainy here. It'll be interesting to see if there's a bounce back in next month's data. This has been another weekly economic snapshot. Thanks for watching.